Well, it's very nice this morning. We've come up the Foster in the dinghy, brought Ted over for a walk, got a little bit more water, and we just went to a little uh, cafe and had bacon and egg roll for brekkie. Very nice. But it was six degrees. Six, six degrees, degrees. Six degrees this morning, so plenty of clothes on. Yeah. But um, it's it's good not having to get up at three o'clock in the morning to go somewhere. <laughs> and the only reason for that is that uh, we'll leave here. The bar's really good. We'll leave here uh, pretty soon. Eight yeah. Probably about eight, yep. And we're heading to Broughton Island. And uh, Broughton Island will get us, get us out of the northerlies uh, in Esmeralda Cove. It's a great little cove, but it means we don't have to cross a bar. So we're not getting up in the middle of the night to uh, travel down the coast and cross a bar. Fantastic. And the wind's just getting up from the... Northerly. So we Put might, the sail up. So we'll get a bit of sail yeah. out and do a bit better. Fantastic. Nice. Let's go, dudes. Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. Yeah, Romeo uh, Foster Tunkari, this is the vessel Peggy Ann. Uh, do you read over? Peggy Ann, I read. Uh, how can we assist you today? Uh, yeah, uh, Marine Rescue Foster Tunkari, this is Peggy Ann. Uh, we just like to go on your log. We're just about to leave uh, Foster, and uh, our destination is Broughton Island. Um, uh, down south and uh, our ETA down there is uh, 1600 this afternoon and we have two POV over. the weather darling it's a bit choppy out here actually it is a bit on the nose not what we like is it very unpleasant we can't put the sign up yet no. maybe after lunch We soon have Seal Rocks in view and alter course to pass in between Little Seal Rock and the mainland. Laundry on the go walk.
Broughton Island comes up over the horizon and we round the eastern tip of Little Broughton before making for Esmeralda Cove. Ted's happy. Wombie's happy. What do you think about Coal Mine Bay, Wom? This spot's really pretty, but the last spot was very rolly and dangerous, I thought. Very close to the rocks. No, no moorings for big boats. Yeah. I think it's better here. Definitely. Seems much safer here. I think we might spend the night here and get going early in the morning, eh? Yeah, looking at the wind that's going to come up quite big if we go out so you have to hug the coast it looks like. Well, it looks like being a comfortable night here in coal mine bay a little bit of swell getting in but not much at all so uh, hopefully we have a peaceful evening up early in the morning and off a bit further south Well, we've decided to have another early one because uh, the wind's supposed to get up tomorrow afternoon and we just want to beat it over to uh, Swansea. So it's uh, 0200. I just flashed the dinghy on the back and um, we'll fly the motors off and head over there. Uh, we should get a bit of a sail in this time, we'll get a bit of breeze up. so. It should be from a good angle for us to uh, do some motor sailing over, so hopefully five or six hours. Anyway, we'll see how we go.
rain out there. Yeah. Here is the off watch. <laughs> Nice early start, Ted. been the trip for today we left here at Broughton Island at uh, two o'clock this morning traveled up around Port Stephens that's our position now this is our destination so that's uh, Swansea we've got to cross a bar there but it should be pretty good and into Lake Macquarie Later in the morning we pass through the Newcastle Anchorage where quite a few bulkers are waiting to be piloted in and loaded with coal. Swansea Bar is flat, it gets some good protection from Moon Island.
There are three courtesy moorings on the ocean side of the bridge. We pick one up to await the high tide before making the passage into Lake Macquarie. o'clock so that'll open for us at 12 uh, and we're just going to walk up to here we've got a few little supplies to get so we're just going to walk into the city and uh, do a little bit of shopping good club here servicemen's club and you're pretty close to the shops from the courtesy moorings
heading out to the lake and you can see the lake just there in front of us. So we'll be doing that at high tide again when we head back out, no doubt. <laughs> I think so. Well, it was definitely a lot shallower than the last time I came through here last year and uh, it's making it pretty hard to get out into the lake, which is a bit of a shame. Um, we just got into 1.7 here, just in the entrance to the lake too, so this entrance really is shoaling up quite badly. There needs to be a bit of dredging done, I'd imagine. Apparently I've heard that the people with moorings in the lake have stopped paying their mooring fees because they're saying they haven't got access to the ocean anymore and uh, they're um, rebelling a bit by not paying their mooring dues so I'm not sure what's going on there but yeah that, that channel does need a bit of work unfortunate because this is such a great area for boating it's fantastic we're just popping out into the lake now and we're going to head, head over to uh, Rathmines and try and pick up a mooring over there. A bit of northerly coming so that'll protect us pretty well. So here we are, home at Rathmines. Keep an eye out for our next video. We'll show you around the old seaplane base at Rathmines. <laughs>